Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial time. I'll be teaching this retro comic book effect. Now, there's only a couple of things that you actually need to make this effect. Now, you only need the font which uh, I'm going to be giving you. Here, the link is going to be in the description bar towards my website where you can download them in the source files. And apart from that, all you really need is your image. Now, this effect is really, really easy and simple to make. Now, anyone can do this. So, we're going to jump over to our image we're going to be working on. This one right here. Now, it doesn't matter the size of the image. Um, you're just going to play around with the levels a little bit. So, all we really need to do is go up to Filter. We're going to go over to Artistic and go to Film Grain. And we're just going to zoom out on the bottom left-hand side. This little minus icon. Zoom out. And you want to play around with um, the options here. So the grain I've put at a the highlight area is zero, and the intensity is going to be ten. But don't follow um, my settings as each image is going to be totally different. The only thing that you want to look out for is this little, little uh, effect right here. You see the head is a bit patchy and stuff like that. That's the sort of effect we're actually going to go for. So make sure that you've got that in your image and it'll be fine. So then when you've done all that, you're going to click OK. And then from here, you're going to go and duplicate the actual image. So Control and J. Now if you can't understand me properly, um, which some people have said so all you really need to do is drag your image down to the new layer icon on the bottom right hand side and just drop it on there and it will duplicate it for you now from there we're going to go up to filter we're going to go over to pixelate and color half tone now from here you only need to play with the max radius option now I'm going to set mine as 8 because it works well with this image but you might want to play around with it depending on the size of your image if you've got a bigger image then you might want to put uh, the pixels up if you've got a smaller image put the pixels down that's generally, uh, that's generally the idea so then click OK once you've done that and then we're going to go and change the blending mode to darken so about there and we're just going to double click that layer to bring up the layer style and we're going to go over to stroke you want to make sure the color is white and we're going to put the size up and we're going to put the position inside now you want to play around with the size depending on your taste uh, if you want a thicker line or a smaller line now that should be okay for this one and then click OK and then from here we're going to go over to the rectangle tool so on the left hand side you want to change the color to a bright yellow and we're just going to make a rectangle on the top right hand side left hand side sorry and that's basically pretty much good so then we're just going to double click that layer also now mine's already done it automatically it's put the stroke in for me so you want to uh, double click it you'll bring up the layer style and you want to make sure the color is black on the stroke and you want a, uh, a size of around 13 depending on the size of your rectangle uh, your box anyway so once you've done that click OK and all we really need to do from there is duplicate it control and J now if I, as I said if you don't understand just go and drag that box down to the bottom and it will duplicate it now once you've done that we're going to double click that color and we're going to go over to white and then click OK and we're going to go to the move tool at the top left hand side and drag it down to the bottom you can click Control and T to free transform and we can make that box bigger or any size that we actually really want and then click OK well click the tick icon at the top sorry and from now we're just going to add our text now if you've installed the fonts that I give you uh, then you just go over to the text icon on the left hand side and the text the font sorry is going to be called digital strip now you can play around with the sizes of the font at the top and the color we're going to go for a bright red first of all and we're going to go for a size of 72 and we just want to put a like that should do for us an A might bring down the size just a tad though 
that was a bit too big and we're going to bring it so just there and we're going to double click that layer and we're going to put a stroke on it stroke's going to be about 8 depending on the size of your font um, on the position on the outside and the color is going to be black click OK and then from there we want to go to our text tool again and we're going to lower the text down to around about 18 depending on the size of your box and image and we're just going to type in a month and date so about there double click here because we're going to change that color to black go to the move tool and position it where you want it so about there and then go to the text tool again and we're just going to come down here we want to lower the font because we want it smaller than that and then you can just really type in whatever you want the scenario to be so anything that you want the story to be really so so about that and we're going to move that just over here and don't forget you can make that box as big as you want um, to fit more of the script in uh, or the storyline in general now don't stop there um, you can add loads more images and make an actual comic book itself now you can just add and add images as much as you want so get creative with this add your own um, styles and stuff like this like anything really that you see fit and that's about it for this uh, tutorial please comment rate and subscribe and i'll see you next time guys bye for now hi everyone i just want to say a big thank you to a fellow youtuber um his channel is called mark somerville uh, he does after effects and all st uh, stuff like that so if you're interested go and check out his channel comment rate and subscribe and he's just a really nice genuine person that helps people out he's really helped me out when i've got stuck with some stuff and yeah so i think you should all check him out and just a big thank you mate and i'll see you in my next videos bye for now